Pat Geddes upset defending champ and top-seeded Viberg Hurley in the 9AA semifinals to advance to the state championship for the first time as a co-op, while Hamlin punched its ticket to the Dakota Dome with a win over Lemon McIntosh. The Black Panthers and the Chargers met for the 9AA title down in Vermillion today. Opening drive of the game, Platt Geddes grabs the early lead. Grayson Hansen swings it out to Jackson Newman. He finds Pater from five yards out. Black Panthers lead 6-0. Same score as we start the second quarter. Black Panther quarterback Kelby Vanderwerf drops back. He goes deep for Jackson Olsen, who hauls in the catch and then carries a defender in with him for the 31-yard TD. Two-point try good. Black Geddes up 14-zip. Hamlin looking to answer. Xander Sheehan lobs it downfield for fullback Cameron Thuey, who gets behind the defense and rumbles 50 yards for the touchdown. That trimmed the deficit to eight, but a Platt Geddes touchdown before half made it 20 to six, heading into the break. Head to the fourth quarter, Platt Geddes up 17. Vanderwerf rolls right, throws back to his left for Grayson Hansen. He's got blockers and space in front of him. He takes that 50 yards to the house. Hansen earned Jill Robbie MVP honors. As he accounted for four touchdowns in the game, and Platt Geddes claims its first state title as a co-op with a 42-12 win over Hamlin, and it's the first state football title for either community since 1992. Oh, even just these last couple games driving into town, there's there's people everywhere congratulating us. I'm, I'm excited just to drive back into Platt, and everybody's, everybody's excited. It'll be crazy. Uh, it's been crazy since we came home from Viberg Hurley, um, which was a little bit of an obstacle for us. But yeah, our community is strong, as you can tell here tonight, uh, today. So yeah, it'll be, it'll be fun. Platt Geddes finishes the year with a perfect 12-0 record.